Shannon Kay with the uh, Precision Rifle Series and lead instructor at Canon Precision Rifle Training. In today's segment, gentlemen and ladies, we're going to cover high pointing and shooting rock positionals sh during uh, long range precision rifle engagements. Uh, you see how the gun's set up today. The gun equipment we got is from D-South Tactical, nice custom gun and the foundation stock. Balances really well, so it's ideal equipment for this, for this demonstration. Um, you look at the rocks. Um, a lot of guys, we always want to go buy a pot if we can and use that prone or modified prone position. Oftentimes a challenge or the time uh, doesn't allow us to. These, these, this obstacle sets up with a long uh, kind of drop off here, so we would need a lot of rear bag if we were to use our bipods up here. So the precision rifle shooter needs to have it in their repertoire, needs to be able to not only adjust and get away from the bipods as necessary, but have the confidence to use their game changer and then turn that modified prone position into a positional um, with the caveats and, and the challenges well aware well ahead of time in their mind so they could tackle the obstacle in a, in a timely manner to get the good shot off. So you see this first position is rock one, rock two, and then rock three. All have different positions. Two of them are going to be kneeling, one of them is going to be standing. But you see how I set the gun up right now. I took the highest point in the rock. Well, why is that? All right, the highest point in the rock because we need to insert our magazine. So when we do insert our magazine, we do not want that contact on the, mag on, the, on the rock. We don't want to use it. A lot of shooters, especially newer shooters, will try to ride this magazine down as they engage. All right. We want nice, clean recoil management. We want to use the game changers like we talked about in the other segments all right, to get the most support as we can. And you can see the rifle is stable and balanced. All right. Again, we're taking a knee, so we're right-handed shooters. If our right knee helps us, we're going to drop our right elbow onto it to take some, some muscle out of the position. I'm going to line up on the target and you're going to see if my, if my magazine gets on there like it did, I'm going to modify the position. I'm going to use this rock a little bit to gain some support. All right. Now I have a good sight picture. I'm not resting on the rock. I'll be able to engage my target and I'm able to still manage my recoil and get square and use my knee if I had to. To pick up and move, I'm then going to come to here again, high point it. This position is going to force me to come back. I'm not going to be able to rest my body on the rock because my magazine or my bipod is going to tie into it. So you'll see, I'll come back, flat foot, no muscle, get on the target, get square, settle the bag, and engage it. Nice and stable here. I can walk away from my gun. It's a stable position without interference during recoil. Again, I pick up, I take one step, get my base sidestep, high point it, get on the rock, stabilize it. Bag stable, gun stable. My reticles tell me the position's true and I go ahead and engage the shot, manage the recoil. For now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate it at real time. So we engage, drop our bag, rifle comes down at the same time. At the high point, right knee presented, use the rock to provide some support. You got a, you got a magazine malfunction, go ahead and fight through it. Fall through, pick up your gun, move over. Take a knee, get square, watch your natural point of aim. I'm still high pointed. Pick up one step, one fluid motion, high point again. Bag doesn't want to settle. Burn the time required to build that good position. Reticle tells me it's a good position. It's stable on the target. I follow through, see where I hit, calculate information and continue to shoot. Thanks for enjoying this segment with us. Come visit us at canonprecisionrifletraining.com. Sometimes the question pops up at parties or just when you're out and about, why would you buy one of those things? Why do you want a silencer? Uh, well, to start off with, um, to make the firearm hearing safe. You know, we don't want it to be loud, but there's a lot of other advantages that come with shooting suppressed. Uh, there really are. You got a, a reduced recoil impulse. Um, you know, you don't get a, as big of a flash. You know, if you're shooting at night, it's not going to overwhelm any digital sensors you may have. Uh, one of my favorite uh, reasons to use a silencer, I have a, I have a young family. Uh, shooting is part of my family's uh, history and, and culture. And we're, we're bringing, you know, new shooters into the game. And uh, these products really make it, they're training aids. Um, they make they make it safer in every way. They make it quieter. Uh, they allow you to communicate with each other without hearing protection. They allow 
it just to be a softer experience. Um, if you're in a, you know, if you're in a rural, you're out in an area like this where you might have neighbors around, you're just being a more uh, polite neighbor. Uh, you know, the energy from, from shooting a firearm, it is loud and there's that concussion and from the overburden or from the overpressure and the silencers literally reduce all of that. They take the whole experience and just soften it down. Um, and, and again, so, you know, you're going to get a, you're going to get a quieter firearm. You're going to get a reduced recoil impulse. You're going to get less flash. Um, but, but for me, you know, this is kind of a personal thing. It, it, bring it on the new shooters. It helps so much. Uh, if you put a silenced 22 in somebody's hands and they shoot it, the first thing they're going to do is smile. Uh, it's the reaction you get every single time and they're hooked, you know, and in the firearms community now more than ever, we need to be doing everything we can to bring people into the fold, to not push people away. And whenever they, whenever they do come into the fold, we make sure they have a good experience and they're exposed to something that's going to enrich their lives, you know, the way it does for us. And, and silencers do that. Silencers are good for a ton of different reasons. Uh, they make the shooting experience just much more enjoyable and there's just a host of advantages that come with shooting suppressed.